Hello everybody. Welcome to Total War Arena. So, I haven't tried, I just finished installing this game and I, I haven't even done anything except choose my commander. And I chose Germanicus as you can see. Um, there isn't really, and I've, I've been waiting for so long to get to play this game. It's been on my wish list on Steam. And I've been keeping track of it and everything, and I'm so excited to play it. Uh, it just looks, it just looks like it'll be a great thing for the Total War series. Although, as with all new developments that are a little bit different from the series that uh, that companies have done, such as Dawn of War 3 compared to the first Dawn of Wars. There's always some there's always some bad eggs in the, in a series, and I'm really hoping this is not one of them. But this is gonna be sort of a first impressions video for both you and me. So I hope you guys enjoy watching this video. I'm just gonna explore the stuff a little bit, like looking at my commander. Huh? Coolio. Ah, Boudica. That would be cool. Oh, that would be cool to have Boudica. Oh, Leonidas, Miltiades, oh, and Alexander. Hmm, cool. Specialty. Okay, so he's infantry. Sulla is infantry. I'm guessing Julius Caesar is ranged, it looks like. And he's Cav. Perhaps Lancer Cav? Uh, I would I would scroll my mouse or my cursor to show you what I'm talking about, but if you can see uh, the like, little box that pops up when I scroll over them, and then you see the name and then Roman Empire. If you see specialty, it's got a little symbol there. So I'm thinking that is probably Lancer Cav for Scipio Africanus. But anyway, uh, let's go to the units. Add unit to the add unit to the squad. Hmm. Tyrones. A uh, javelinman for pedites. Tier two. We have leves, milites. Oh wow, quite a few tiers. Arcani, Imperial Guard. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Marina. <laughs> oh, I don't. I don't want to get ahead of myself just yet. But this looks like it's going to be cool. All these different units. So I can add unit to this. Oh, my squad's full. Okay. Um. Okay, so that's how it works. How's the tech trees work? Abilities. Okay. Testudo. Vengeance. Stacks over time and ends once the unit exits melee. Hmm. That's pretty cool. That's quite neat. Heavy infantry charge. I like this. I like that a lot. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> so now stuff for the armies. Pedites, Milites, Tyrones, Leves. Milites, okay. <laughs> hmm. Ah, Marmillo gladiators. Auxiliary. Hmm. Neat. Centurions. <laughs> okay. Well, that looks like this looks like it's gonna be pretty dang cool. Uh, if I can figure out how to just press this. okay, I can just press escape to do that. Um. Oh, cool! You can turn the camera. You have the tents up behind you. 
not a very Roman way of not very Roman to put your tents in the forest like that rather than have them in ordered rows but I suppose this since this is very small that would be the smarter thing to do very small contingent but uh, why can't I why can't I play Swordsman. Battle ready. Uh, no helmet, tunic, worn Republican, scutum, Kaepernick. Oh, cool. Not that I'm really gonna bother with that. Shirt's dead. Hmm. Interesting. Scar and battle gladius. No helm. Um. Commander! Light, pila, yellow, yellow. Eagle! Okay, yeah, I'm gonna get rid of the, one of those infantry for the javelin, and I think that'll be a better option. So, hmm. Well, this is neat. You can get tags and stuff. You can get names, titles, achievements. I don't see any or that for commanders. Overview. Huh. Who plays practice mode, main menu, no. live games, friends, and chat. Can't do anything with that. Um, I'm trying to figure out why I cannot. Interesting. I'm reading the information. I haven't really met, read up on Germanicus much. Well, I've read all about the Battle of Teutoburg Forest. Or, <laughs> Massacre of Teutoburg Forest, to be more accurate. More apt. But anyway. Okay then, that's really cool. And if you wanted to read that, you can pause it and whatnot. Well, I'm really confused why I cannot play. Huh. There a way I can... Not sure why that standard is back there, rather than with the squad like these two. Pause the recording and see if I can't figure out why. Oh, here we go. Well, perhaps I can do this. Or maybe I have to do this in order to actually play. So, I'm going to go ahead and do this. Even though I've played plenty of <laughs> Total War games, but. Oh well, perhaps this is why. So, control room commander, capture the Capitoline Hill. 
I wish you could get five squads instead of just three, because I think three is a little bit low. A little bit, eh. I think three is just a little bit too underwhelming. Welcome to Total War Arena. These are the proving grounds where you will learn the basics of the game. On Arena's endless battlefields, you and your allies will strive for honor and glory, and eventually rise as legends. There are three ways to secure victory in battle. Destroy the enemy army, capture their base, or survive with more soldiers alive when the battle timer runs out. The barbarians have established a base on the Capitoline Hill. Join your Roman allies and capture it to secure victory. Hmm. Interesting. Germanicus, Consul of Rome. In Total War Arena, you command a squad of three units, each containing up to 100 soldiers. Your commander leads the first unit and boosts the strength of your entire squad as long as he or she lives. Let's okay. survey the battlefield. The enemy's base is just up the road. Move oh, your WASD. camera there to check on your allies' progress. I got used to playing Dawn War. Strange. Things have gone quiet. Rotate your camera around so you can see your commander and squad. Now head back to your... To reach the base, you will need to follow the main road. <laughs> Start by selecting the unit with your commander. Hover over the lead unit and left click on it with your map. This unit is now under your command. Move to the marked location by right clicking on. Nice work. More than one unit can be selected there. at a time. Do this now by holding down left click and dragging a box around your entire squad. Okay, it's a little bit different than previous Total Wars that I played where. Swordsman! Yours to command! A little bit different where it, uh, wherever you right click and then hold. Your squad must go another way. What? Why does my squad have to go another way? No. The base is not in this direction. What are you talking about? It, was, it, it is in that direction, though. What? A pace. Sword match. Now get your squad there. moving by right-clicking on the location marker. Oh, your man. This squad must go another way. This is so stupid. Sword match. Ready to serve. <sighs> I really hate when games do this. It kind of sucks. It just Your squad has forces you to go do this, this crap. Is to squeeze through narrow lanes, you will usually want them to march in formation. When you issue a move order, hold down right click <sighs> and rotate the cursor to perfectly position there. your units. Try it now. Order your squad back. The fog of war hangs Already over got parts it. of the battlefield where you and your allies are not positioned, hiding enemy movement. Some units can see farther than others, and certain terrain can obscure their line of sight. Death has come for the enemy commander! Arminius has taken advantage of the natural cover of the forest, but his squad's health is low. Right-click on his units to move forward and attack. Send them to Elysium. Okay. <laughs> At least they had a legitimate reason for wanting me to stay back here. Even though it would have been a little bit more interesting to... Ooh. That charge was nice. Medium thread, medium thread, okay. Okay, well. Enemies of Germania! 
Arminius snuck his third unit around behind you. Archers can attack from range and are often deadly to melee infantry. Luckily, Roman pedites come equipped with pilar that they can throw. Select one of your units and left click throw pilar on your action okay, bar. Then it. target the enemy and left click on it with your mouse. Throw pilar is a targeted ability unique to swordsmen. All units have abilities of one kind or another. Like, I don't care. Screw one unit. I'm gonna throw two. Well done. Uh, somehow I managed to kill every last one of them. But okay. Is blocking the pass with strong defenders. Your ally approaches, but he needs your help. Move your units forward and attack from behind. Together, you and Caesar will flank the enemy soldiers and break them away. Rally to me! Break them! Right there! Okay. I'll just uh, deal with that right quick. Oh, screw friendly fire, I don't care. Hoping to get a good view here. Ah, uh, there we go. Excellent. Not the best charge, but it works. Units morale wavers and breaks. You have them at your mercy. Soldiers have both health and I hope it's not like Shogun where Okay, good. I'd be really disappointed if it's like Shogun where you can't really hunt them down and everything just disappears when they wrote. When morale breaks, the soldiers rout, scattering and retreating from back. Flanking enemies. Oh, there's <laughs> yep. See there's uh Germanicus getting stuck in with the boys. Good. Now they all just died. <laughs> Take the enemy base. To capture a base, your team must occupy it uncontested by standing within its perimeter. Go there now. The enemy base will soon be ours. For Rome! I'll keep this unit on my flank, so that way just in case anything tries to come this way, they have the, the Pila. Just in case something Caesar bad happens. The base, but cannot capture it while taking damage. Those archers are contesting him. Help your ally. Chase out the enemy and win this battle. Well, I would help them if you'd let me get on with it. Okay, I'm back. Okay. I'm recording my first impressions of this. Of Rome Total War Arena. Oh, Nana's on. Ready? Okay. Tell these guys to get in the center there. there. That is a really fast animation. The base is being captured. A really fast animation for drawing the bows. Like the second they pull it back, they're just dead. Can you stop? You have won your first battle. Yes, we well beat the stupid tutorial that tries to hold your hand and everything. <laughs> oh. It was a really slow tutorial, you can't really... Okay, I was correctamundo. I did have to do the tutorial in order to play an actual match. Good to know. Ah, interesting. Cool. But I have to get... Okay, I can't get that. Why can I not get that? <sighs> Reform automatically. P look, consumables, animation. Um, okay, well. I guess we'll go ahead and play one more, or play one multiplayer battle and. If it take if the uh, matchmaking takes too long, I'm just gonna go ahead and edit the First waiting out. The but hopefully, 
I can just finish this video quick. Not have to wait forever for the matchmaking, because that's always terrible when you have to wait forever for matchmaking. I remember having to wait, oh man, so long. Like four and five minutes in Eternal Crusade before. But then they finally optimized the matchmaking a little bit better, so now it's a lot faster. If there's anyone on. Although, unfortunately a lot of people don't. I haven't seen a lot of people on for a while, but I need to get on and play some more. And if any of you guys want to join me playing Eternal Crusade, I would be more than happy to set up a squad. Okay, good. Matchmaking took only a minute. Okay, joining game session. Matchmaking is surprisingly good for closed beta. Um, Wait, you're in the closed beta? Yeah, that's what it says. That's what it said at the top, but... Oh, there's a wolf at the top, and you're right, I didn't even notice that. Capitoline Hill. Shortly after Romulus and his followers founded Rome, their men sought wives to establish families. Marriage ne Oh, okay, I didn't get to finish reading it. <sighs> okay, then. <laughs> it looks like most everyone took- wait, what? Why am I fighting with the barbarians when I'm Rome? Hmm. Okay then. Ha, <laughs> Brutus 401. Oh, Commander Wolf, that's a Star Wars reference from the Clone Wars series. Okay, click Deployment Zone. Actually... Uh, no, I'm gonna take this one. Okay, so we got the ranged over here, we have the cav. I think we have a pretty good deployment going on. Everyone seemed to do a good job deploying all their stuff. Okay. There we go. Now the rest of them. Yeah, it's control. There we go. And I wish I, I wish I could change the control settings, like for the click and drag, um, to change it like Rome Total War One and really all the other Total War games that I've played. <laughs> because this is just such a pain. It's just so weird. For uh, it to be centered. Okay, uh, oh, they're moving up with me. Nice. They've got full ranged. What's. Oh, 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 oh. We have drawn first blood. We're under attack. There we go. Okay, well, eh, this is not going well. I tell them to turn around so I can, so I won't get flanked so badly. Although I'm going to need quite, I'm gonna need some support. Need to go help my men. Ready? Aim! Oh, they're routing. No, don't route. Oh, that squad's pretty much dead. Just pretty much entirely gone. Okay. It's like half their team deployed deployed over here. 
Not much I can do with what's left. But, uh, where's... There's my gun. Uh, well, this is... <sighs> not going well at all. Okay, good. Okay, they're all dead. And... What the hell is Commander Wolf doing? I hate when people just sit there and go AFK from the very beginning of the battle instead of being useful. That cav would have been really nice. Great. And of course. They try and fight uphill. And apparently he tried to charge some ranged units. Apparently Brutus tried to charge ranged units into melee there. Because... Great ideas! I hope, I hope all of you can feel the sarcasm. dripping from my voice. And what the hell is this guy doing? Just sitting there. Go flank the enemy. Do something. Try and take out the javelin men. Or spearmen. Yeah, spearmen, not javelin men. The CPU 19 had done something. Oh, dis really disconnected? Oh, of course. <sighs> okay, then. Two people not doing jack shit the entire time. Good job. At least I got the achievement earned. Earned the most. Let's see how many rewards he received. Battle or commander progress. Unit XP. Detailed statistics. Okay. I'll keep that. I'll keep the pop ups for now. Until I. Get a little more experience playing this and learn everything. So my pet, those petites earned quite a lot. Oh, that was my commander squad. That would be why. Uh, my reward breakdown, team spotting damage. Got nothing for morale or capture. Nothing for victory because we didn't win. Scores. Well, I got I got third place on my team. Not too bad. And now it says CPU one, even though it was CPU nineteen before. Whatever. Um. Did nothing. Did nothing. Did nothing. Oh, of course, everyone on their team was doing something, and we had four AFKs. Oh, wait, no. In command, then there's Commander Wolf that did nothing until the very end. And the Donger of Dongs, which did uh, all of three kills. They did a whole three kills. Good job. <sighs> Whatever. 
<sighs> I'm really sick of this, just, just a little bit. At least I can buy the... Wait, so is that a fake? Okay, so I believe that experience goes for not the individual units. I believe that goes for everyone. No helmet, right, tunics, not that. No. What does this get? They can get a basic Republican javelin or a brittle Republican javelin. I don't do a whole lot out of it. Swordsman. Upgrades for this suck. Well, I got a Warden Gladius then. Scar and uh, Warden Gladius. Swordsman. Oh, okay, so it upgrades all of the same type of unit. Cool. Okay, and I still have the same upgrades. Swordsman. Okay. Wait, why would I want to go down and upgrade? <laughs> uh, I, I don't understand that, but whatever. They're javelin and they're still swordsmen. Okay. Okay, now I'll check my commander. Unique abilities. You can build and save one squad per commander. Select a commander here and switch between the saved squads. Commander's tier and faction limit, which unit limit which units can be added to a squad. Never enlist units of a higher tier than your commander. Raise the commander's tier. Okay. Oh, so I didn't mean to click off that. Uh, okay then. Sorry. Sorry guys, I did not mean to click off that. Um hmm. Germanicus, Consul of Rome. I got this. Requires Commander Tier Three. Uh, I'm not sure why it did not let me. I'm gonna read this. Any units in the way will be damaged. <laughs> okay, you can't use when attacking in melee. Okay, that would be why I couldn't use it before. Good to know. Nice. Oh, that would be nice. Get infantry barricades too. Infantry stakes too. Armor smith. Huh. Hmm. Okay, so I could go for artillery there, or I could. Huh. Okay, so I could go for catapults and stuff, or I could go for ballistas. Or then these get this super heavy ballistas. <laughs> but I'm going to go for infantry because that would be the smart thing to do. Make for an exceptional defensive unit. What's... what is this? Harry. Multiple phase and increases melee defense up to a steed will have reduced speed. Huh, cool. Formed combat. That increases defense but reduces mobility. The front row deformation will periodically bash enemy units. Force it. Oh, okay. <sighs> hmm. I like this. I like this a lot. Oh, whereas 498, 657, 631, Okay, so the Centurions are faster, but huh? Reposition.
I would not use Centurions at all. That does not seem like it would be the best option. I think the Veteran Legionnaires would be far better. I mean, they're both swordsmen anyway. There aren't any archers, though, from what I can see. Which I'm really confused about. They've got Vilates, but they don't have any archers. Uh, yeah, they don't... Yeah, it's all javelin, man. That really... I hope they add some stuff like that. That would really suck if they didn't have it. So I don't really want to use javelin men. I don't. I've never. I don't use them in the campaign or anything. <sighs> well. Anyway, it seems that. Hmm. You no, know I'm actually not going to bother with Ready. these Tyrones. I'm going to go for Javelins. the, uh, wait, no, the uh, Petites. So that will give me Swordsman. that upgrade for all my units. Because I don't really see anything else being too... I don't really see the Velites being too much of a uh, good thing for me. I'll just go full infantry. Although this squad seems smaller. Is that wolf? Okay, yeah, the wolf's still there. That's what I saw before, well, just before I got in the battle. Right there's a little wolf standing on top of the rocks. Okay, so yeah, they do. I don't know why. It's just because they're more spaced out. It looks like there's less units. Okay. Well, anyway, I am good for, uh, I think that's, that's, this will be about the end of the first impressions video. I'll just give a quick summary of what I think, and then I'll go ahead and end the video. So, the unit, like, the way everything looks, it looks pretty good. Um, I'm sure they're going to polish it just a little bit more, so... I mean, not that I really think it needs it. I think it looks just fine as is. But, uh, I'm sure they will polish it more anyway. Because some people really, really just like super polished games. I'm, I'm fine as long as it looks good enough, personally. <laughs> but anyway, especially the commander. Your commander looks especially nice. And I'm glad that they added, like, the special commanders, rather than having just a generic-looking commander. From, like, ra unlike Rome 1, where your commanders all just kind of look the same. <laughs> uh, I'm glad they have the special commanders. I like that. It's a nice touch. Very nice touch. Even better that all the units and commanders have their own, like, bio sort of page. I like that. Especially for people that don't really know a lot about like history and the different commanders and stuff like that. That is another nice thing. Um, as far as the technology and stuff goes, it looks like later on there's a lot more technology that you can get per like per unit, which is good. I do like that you can get different technology, although I just wish that you could like upgrade your squad. Or you I wish you could customize your squad more. Like you could change their equipment more to fit different styles rather than having to just choose one unit or rather than just choose a basic unit and then just upgrade what they have a little bit. I wish that you could customize your squad to fit exactly how you play. That would be a that would be that would just make be a cherry on that'd be just that just be the cherry on top. And uh, as far as the gameplay goes, um, 
I like the line of sight, I like the detail they have into the different variables and such. However, it seems to move, make the combat seem to just move a little bit too fast. Especially for, I mean, I haven't done Total War in a while. And I know that's part of why I personally was thinking it went a little bit too fast, but it was also a little bit difficult to like see what was going on at times. Like when I mean, I'm in the forest, which again I can understand why they would do that from a realism standpoint, but at the same time, as from a gameplay perspective, it's not as good. It's not very, it's not a very good thing because. You need you visibility. Recording? Yes, I'm recording. I already told you I was. Oh. And then you keep interrupting me. So stop. <sighs> um, as I was saying, um, I would appreciate if they made the game time move just ever so slightly slower because then it'll I mean I'm not saying like half speed or even three quarter speed but just tone it down just like a percentage or two just barely that'd be just right because it would have a fast enough it would be fast paced enough but it would also allow you enough time to be able to properly command your units um but going back to the speed of the game, for people that are not too much into Total War or to RTSs in general, but they want to try it, if they want to get more people into it, then I would definitely say slow it down more because it would be a lot to take in for new people. Um, I think I've pretty much covered everything. Uh, I got the squad. Um, I mean, it's nice that they explain everything when you get in the game, that it's very detailed explanations. That's nice, but at the same time, they should have the option for you to just be able to skip it. Um, that will just be a nice touch. Or a nice little thing for people that are familiar with Total War. Um, squads, units, no. Tech trees, armies. Okay. Um, oh, and the commander abilities. I like how there's different commander abilities. That, that's nice. Although I wish you would get to choose one. Like, I wish you could choose one commander ability, like. Let's say that all three of the abilities would be tier one, but then you have to choose one, like to start with, and then you could either choose to go all out for that one ability track, or you could get you could start out with the one ability, and then get another set ability. Like if I start out with heavy infantry charge, then I could either choose to go get charge bonus next, or I could get Vengeance or Testudo after that, and I could do any variation thereafter. That would be a nice thing, rather than having to wait to get Testudo and then wait to get Vengeance after that. Um, I, th I think that would be a better way to do it. Uh, there is... Oh, for the armies. Uh, kind of like what I was saying before about being able to customize your units to be able to fit what role you want them to fit. Um, I would I would rather like kind of what I was saying about that is to give you more of a semi visual representation is that instead of like having the payday pedites and then milites and then essentiae or essenti I whatever however you pronounce this one um, instead of having to just advance in a single like in a track like this 
I would say that uh, like, let's say you get a tier one, just like just like you get the tier one melee unit and a tier one ranged unit and a tier one cavalry unit, and then after that, then you could customize your tier one melee unit up to a certain extent. Like they can only get such good armor, and then you could get, let's say, you could get mail armor, or you could get uh, the Lorica Segmentatum, which would be better against different things. So the Lorica Segmentatum would be better against arrows and stuff like that, and slashing damage. But then the mail would be like. It would probably cost less experience or something, and it wouldn't slow down the unit as much, it wouldn't exhaust them as much, but it, it would be almost the same against slashing damage, but it would not be very good against ranged or uh, piercing damage, anything like that. So, I mean, but it'd provide more mobility. So, stuff like that would be a nice change. So, you have it, but then, like, the different tiers. Primarily what it does is just give it a different name and upgrade the base stats rather than having all of these super specialized like instead of having legionnaires or legionaries and then armored legionaries uh, I wish you would just have just legionaries and then you can choose to make them more armored less armored give them more pelum or give them no pelum etc etc uh, stuff like that. And tree REI would be nice because they have the spears. Although, again, I would say just get, like, instead of giving tree REI by themselves, I would say, like, give you the option to get gladiuses or to get the spears to make them, to make them tree REI. Um, as far as ranged units, I wish you could choose to get javelins or bows. Now, I could understand, like, for the very, for a tier 1 unit, only giving you javelin, but then for tier 2, you could choose between javelins or bows, and then, etc., etc. I think you kind of get the picture now. Uh, yeah, I think you get the picture now. I, I don't really, I don't think I need to go into much more detail about it for that. But yeah, if if the developers are wa ever watch this or someone shows the developers, I think me and I'm assuming plenty of other people would most certainly like that system a lot more than the super specialized system where you can basically only upgrade their existing equipment rather than being able to modify them for whatever purpose you want. Um, so I've talked about the commanders, I've talked about the units, tech trees. Um, hmm. Oh, one last thing before I end the video. I wish that like, I, w I would say that'd be a very, very good thing, because as you saw in my last battle, four people were AFK, and then I know Commander Wolf took over like really right at the last second and tried to move his guys out the way, but still, I mean that was that was stupid, having four people AFK. I think that if someone is AFK for a certain amount of time, I don't know, maybe like two minutes or something, I think would be fairly reasonable. If someone's AFK for two minutes, I, w I would say that they should be kicked and then their army should be taken over by the AI. I think, I think something like that would be very much appreciated. And it would make everyone a lot happier. And make the game play better, that's for sure. So that way, one team doesn't get curb stomped like my team did because four people were AFK and the entire enemy team was playing. 
So, anyway, I think I think that's it for this video. And <laughs> if any of you guys have tried this yet, and I, and have uh, thought of any of these things, or if you guys have any other suggestions for things that you've noticed, since this is only a first impressions video, uh, if you guys have noticed anything that you would like changed, or you want to talk to me about it, or talk to me about anything in the comments, just let me know. I'm going to go ahead and end this video here, and I'd love to see you guys playing games with me sometime. Hello everyone. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, go ahead and click the like button. If you enjoy my content in general, go ahead and click the subscribe button. And as always, have a great day, and the Emperor protects.